have a dog or other pet? Have they impacted your life in some way? Service dogs help people in all kinds of ways every day. From leading the blind to assisting people in wheelchairs or that suffer from autism or allergies. They also help in schools, hospitals, and with police. There are several organizations all over the country who that work to train these dogs. One major organization in the Midwest is Leader Dogs for the Blind. They work hard to enhance the mobility, independence, and quality of life for the visually impaired. This is Daisy. She is a future Leader Dog that is seven months old. Leader Dogs was founded in 1939 by three Lions Club members in the Detroit area. Since then, around 14,000 Leader Dogs have been trained and they have graduated to 40, 41 countries that, and all, every state except Hawaii. Over 400 dogs have gone to Mexico and almost 700 have graduated to Spain. Leader Dogs receives over 270 clients each year, so they need a lot of volunteers, especially because they don't receive any government funding and the visually impaired don't pay for their dogs. If you're interested in volunteering, Leader Dogs has several off-campus volunteering opportunities. One is to host a breeding stock dog. These are the mom and dad dogs for all of the future Leader Dog puppies. This is a seven to nine year commitment, and if you have a female dog, you should expect to take care of one or two puppies each year for the first six to seven weeks of their life. If you are interested in being a puppy raiser and raise a puppy like Daisy, the first step is to fill out an application that can be found on their website. The next step is to pick up a puppy, raise it for about a year, and then return it to leader dogs. They use all kinds of dogs, but mostly yellow labs and black labs. They also have golden retrievers, and about 5% of their dogs are German shepherds. Daisy is a yellow lab golden retriever mix. In this year that you have the puppy, it's not easy and you need to t because you need to take it places, teach it basic commands, and meet with the puppy counselor once a month. There are almost 400 puppy raisers right now throughout the United States and Canada. They live in 22 states and Canada. 70% of these people will raise more than one puppy in their lifetime. Daisy lived with her mom and litter mates for about the first six weeks of her life. Then she got transported to the Leader Dog Kennels in Rochester Hill, Michigan, outside of Detroit, where she spent time in the kennels and got attention from volunteers and walks. Stay right here. As soon as I picked her up, around eight weeks, training began right away with housebreaking, name recognition, leash manners, and learning not to bite. But the training never stops. She should be taken several places each week while wearing her bandana. Her bandana symbolizes to the, her and the community that she is working. We have gone several places, including malls, restaurants, track meet, outdoor things such as bonfires and markets, as well as senior living facilities, other people's houses, etc. When we're out and about, people always enjoy seeing her and ask about her organization. But training doesn't stop when we're at home. I work with her daily on sit, down, stand, stay, healing in the lead up position, which is with her back legs, with my legs. We also teach her around, which I use at doors, with left hinges. This helps handle a puppy and a door. We also teach her take it and give, which is useful for general puppiness as well as leave it, which I can use if there's something on the floor that she shouldn't get into. Right now, she is in a saddle. This is like a down, but I can use it for longer amounts of time, and I step on the leash, so she has a little room to move around. She even has a special command to tell her to go to the bathroom. This is part. But I also need to teach her general manners, such as that she should stick to be petted, and she shouldn't lick people. Also, she can't get on furniture 
and needs permission before getting in or out of a car or out of her crate. Because of the work she is getting trained to do, there are several places that she should go before returning. This includes malls, restaurants, public functions or schools, a library, post office, bank, grocery shopping. She should also have a chance to ride on a bus or train, as well as be comfortable in riding in any sort of vehicle, being on elevators and on stairs, with, and with different levels of traffic and people around. It takes a lot of hard work to train her, but it will all pay off in the end with the work that she is getting trained to do. I will return her to leader dogs around the same time, but a year later, that I picked her up. Puppies get returned between 12 and 15 months of age, and after I return her, I can still keep tabs on her and how her training is going. As soon as they arrive, they start getting acclimated to leader dogs and get introduced to other dogs in their sections. On the first day, she gets a bath and physical exam, and soon she will get x-rayed and placed in the obedience section of the kennel. Dogs are also chosen that for breeding purposes, they follow different steps. In the obedience section of the kennel, they review basic training, general manners, and socialization. Reviewing the basics helps, <laughs> helps make the transition from living in a house to living in the kennel easier. Volunteers come in to walk the dogs and play with them before a trainer is assigned to them for more formal training. The dogs are usually trained for four months before getting matched with a client. This, these four months are separated into four phases and usually each one lasts four weeks. However, it can be longer if the dog needs extra practice. The dogs can also get career changed at any time. This means that they aren't meant out to be a seeing eye dog and may go into any other type of assistance dog, such as a search and rescue dog or work in schools or hospitals. Phase one includes basic curb work and learning while the dog is learning the while the trainer is learning the dog's personality. Phase two includes basic street work, traffic recognition, learning basic commands. This is also the point where she will get spayed. In phase three, they learn more advanced traffic situations, work around more obstacles, begin country work, and learn how to work on their own without being instructed to. She will also get microchipped in this phase. This is a non-invasive procedure that places a marker, a tracking device in the back of her shoulder in case she is ever lost. In phase four, the final stage of training, she will learn to negotiate difficult traffic patterns and complex situations. She will also learn to take responsibility in her work. Now it's off to class. In the 26th day residential training program, she will get paired with a visually impaired client. There are up to 12 of these sessions each year, and each session has up to 24 students. Every session, there are extra dogs to help match the personalities of the trainer of the dogs and trainers, their clients. One leader dog that really kind of inspired me is Tabitha. She won the Hero Dog Award this year in the guide dog category for helping Anne Drake overcome her fear of the darkness while she completed her undergraduate and graduate studies. Another story that I found inspiring is that of leader dog Willow and Maria Morales. Maria was after work one day on, she works on the 15th floor of the building and starting to take the elevator down when it pinged, but saying it was there. The doors opened, but the elevator wasn't there. Willow wouldn't go forward, saving Maria from the 15-story fall. When people ask what I'm doing, I when I explain to them what I'm doing, I often get, how will I give her up? My answer is simple. She will greatly improve somebody else's life with the work that she is getting trained to do. Leader Dogs is an amazing organization that is working hard to help the community. I have cards available if anybody is interested in learning more about fostering a puppy. This concludes my presentation. Thank you. Are there any questions? So what is it? Her, the question was, how long will I have her for? And the answer is, I will have her.
her for about a year. The question was how long does her training take? And I have her for a year of basic training. And then there are four months of more advanced training with an official trainer that she learns curb work and extra commands. Yes, all of the different phases make up the four months. does not charge for the dogs but yes it is very most organizations do it's very uncommon for this organization not to what yes there was I did receive training there was kind of a meeting when I got her reviewing the training that she will go through and if I have questions there's a puppy counselor in Iowa that I can meet with email and talk to. There's also puppy development, which I can call or email with more training questions, and training manual and DVD that I read and watched before getting hurt. Yes, I did have to review how they, I needed to learn how they wanted her to be trained and all the commands that they wanted her to learn. Come. Um. 